you know. A death row prisoner requested dirt as their last meal request. This is Michelle. These are the five bizarre last meal requests of death row prisoners you probably haven't heard about. I am still innocent. End quote. Pedro Medina, convicted of murder, electric chair, Florida. Executed on March 25, 1997. As Medina was being electrocuted, blue and orange flames burst from his head, igniting the death mask. Mass overshadowed details of the Cuban native's conviction for shooting a teacher in 1982. After the execution, Attorney General Bob Butterworth said, People who wish to commit murder, they better not do it in the state of Florida, because we may have a problem with our electric chair. Edmund Emil Kemper III is an American serial killer who murdered six college students before murdering his mother and her best friend. From following his parole for murdering his paternal grandparents, he committed several murders and was sentenced to death. His last words were the following, even when she was dead, she was still bitching at me. I couldn't get her to shut up. Hamilton Howard Albert Fish was an American serial killer, rapist, child molester, and cannibal who committed a minimum of three child murders from July 1924 to June 1928. Fish once boasted that he had children in every state, and at one time stated his number of victims was about 100. They found him to be sane and guilty, and the judge sentenced the defendant to death by electrocution. His last words were, quote, I like children, they're tasty. Where's my stun double when you need one? My lord is my life and savior, nothing shall I fear. End quote, was the last words of Vincent Gutierrez. He was convicted of murder, lethal injection in Texas. He was executed on March 28, 2007. Gutierrez was convicted of killing Captain Jose Cobo, an Air Force officer, during a carjacking with an accomplice. According to the Associated Press, Gutierrez was 18 at the time. He acknowledged shooting Cobo and expressed no remorse saying he fired at the military officer because he didn't want to go back to jail for another robbery. Robert Charles Kummer was convicted and sentenced to death by lethal injection by the state of Arizona in 1988 for the murder of his neighbors. In 2000, Kummer waived his right to appeal, but through various legal delays and disputes in the court system, after that, it was not long until the death sentence was carried out. Kummer's last words were the following. Go Raiders! Which of the five last statements of death row inmates do you find the most surprising? Comment your answer down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.